Alright, so today we're gonna talk about your multi-engine rating. It is the time for you to fly something a little bit more complicated than what you're used to. Hi friends, my name is Jorge Muñoz, I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador and in this video we're gonna talk about what you will see, what you will learn during your multi-engine rating, during ground school as well as in your flight hours. Why do you need it or if you even need it? What will be new for you and what will be a refresher? With this rating you will be getting a little taste of the airplanes that you will be flying when you land your first job at an airline at least how they work. As always, this video is going to be divided in different sections, so here on the screen you will have the timestamps for each specific section. And also you will find the timestamps linked in the description down below. And also in the pinned comment down below. So, if you're in a hurry or you just want to know about one specific thing about this video, please feel free to jump to the timestamp that you're interested in. But, if you want to see the whole video, I appreciate it quite a lot. Alright, so multi-engine rating. Just to be clear, this is a rating, like the instrument rating, it's not a license. If you're watching this video, chances are that you have already completed your private pilot license and your commercial pilot license as well, along with your instrument rating. Up to this point, you have probably just been flying single-engine airplanes. Complex airplanes, high performance airplanes or not, it has always been just one engine in front of you. But now you will be flying an airplane that has one engine on each side of the cockpit. I mean, one on each wind, right? From this point you should always have in the back of your mind the idea that you will be flying a faster, more complicated, heavier and more serious airplane than before. Know that it will be a bigger responsibility for you. As usual, let's start with the ground school. There is not much to talk about this. It is a much shorter ground course than the ones that you have already received during your private pilot license, instrument rating or commercial pilot license. For the most part, you will be learning about some new airplane parts that this new airplane has and your single engine airplane probably didn't. You will be learning how to control a propeller that can change its own angle if for some reason you haven't learned that yet. You'll learn the specific procedures of the airplane of your school, of course. You will have to study and memorize a lot of the pilot operating handbook, the emergency procedures for that airplane, how to feather an engine during an emergency landing, and how does the retractable landing gear works, just to say some stuff. To sum this up, everything you'll see during this course will be about this new airplane you're going to fly. You won't learn much more about things like aerodynamics, airspace or something along those lines. Let's now talk about the flight hours the more interesting part. If you have seen the previous videos of this series, you know how important it is to me to use your flight simulator hours. And it is no exception for this case. Use your simulator flight hours so then you can get the most out of your real flight hours in the real airplane. Please don't waste them. I cannot overstate how important it is to always learn first on the flight simulator what you're going to do in the real airplane. I'll give you three main reasons why I praise so much the flight simulator hours. One, because you can pause. Two, you can restart. And three, you can control absolutely everything that is happening around you during the flight. It's simple, but it makes a world of difference for someone that is just starting to learn and to know a new airplane. If you get partially lost, you can just pause the simulator and ask your instructor for guidance. If you have completely lost idea of what the heck you're doing, or if the instructor sees that you're doing everything terribly wrong, you can always restart the flight from zero, and you will have a new chance like nothing ever happened. And on top of that, you can do so many things that you just won't be able to do in the real airplane, simply because it will be too dangerous. 
you can control the weather to your own will. Like, how freaking cool is that? Like, you can even be in any airport you want. And the list of things that you can do just goes on and on. So yeah, do your simulator hours so you don't waste your flight hours on the real airplane. It is very simple. Now, what you will actually do during your flight hours is actually very similar to what you did during your private pilot license. You will learn how to take off and how to land the airplane. Feel and get comfortable with how fast it is. You will do some steep turns and some maneuvers with it. You will perform the emergency procedures from your pilot operating handbook, like landing with just one working engine, or what you should do if your landing gear isn't working or something like that, and possibly some cross-country flights if you have the time. You will practically learn how to safely fly a multi-engine airplane, so nothing so fancy. Remember that this time you won't have the same amount of time that you had for your previous licenses. Wrapping up all this, the reason to get a multi-engine rating is very simple. If you want to be hired someday by an airline, just like with your instrument rating, this is a must-have for you. Simply because absolutely every single important airline in the world flies with multi-engine airplanes. That means two or more engines. So yeah, basically you have no option here if what you want is to work for an airline in the future. With this rating you are finally entering a world of a more serious, faster and complicated airplanes of general aviation that demands more of you in every aspect. But it should be a fun challenge to overcome nonetheless. And even if it is not for an airline job, just like pretty much every other rating, it will open some new doors for you. In the world of aviation, there is a variety of different jobs where you will need this rating. So by all means, go ahead. So that's the end of today's video. If you want to become an outstanding private pilot, or you're just curious about it, or if you want to prepare yourself in the best way possible for all the tests to come, and perfect the knowledge and the basis of the BFR world, I highly recommend you should check out my book Essential Knowledge for Private Pilot. You will find the link of the book in the description of this video. This book uses the two most effective study techniques in the whole world, active recall and space repetition, and it applies them into aviation. If that sounds good to you, then please go ahead and check out the book down below. It is available in English as well in Spanish. Remember, you shouldn't be studying hard, you should be studying effectively, and with this book you can do just that. And that's it, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or at least found it somewhat entertaining, please give it a like. If you learned something new, I'll appreciate quite a lot if you consider subscribing to the channel. And if you just feel like it, you can also follow me in Instagram, the link is also down below. I upload very cool photos over there, or at least they seem cool in my head. I try to upload videos every week, mainly explaining different topics about anything related to aviation. Most of all, what has to do in a way or another with the IFR world, but in a logical order. Also, I'll probably be talking about education in general, always trying to contribute something new to you. If you have a question or an opinion about something I said during this video, please feel free to comment down below. Or if you want to talk to me about something, please feel free to comment. I would love to hear anything you have to say. Or get in touch with me in Instagram. If you found this video interesting, then you should check out my playlist What to Expect from Your Next License or Rating. I will leave that playlist over here. Once again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye!